Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at how to align objects relative to each other or to the artboard inside Adobe Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Star Graphics. So the first thing we need to do when we want to align objects is open up the Align panel. So go to Window and click Align. This will open up the Align panel down in the corner of the screen. In this video, I will only cover the Align Objects feature. Next week, I will cover Distribute Objects, so stay tuned. So when we want to align objects, we have three different ways to do it. These ways are as following. Align to a selection, align to key object, and align to artboard. First, I will cover align to selection, which is the most basic way to align objects. So align to selection means that we will align all the selected objects relative to each other. So here I have three misaligned objects. And with all the objects selected, I can go down and align them in some basic ways down here. This button down here will align all the left sides of the objects. This button will align them to the middle of each other and this button to the right side. And of course, these will do the same just in the other axis. So if I move the shapes and I select all the objects, now I can align to the top, the middle and the bottom. And a quick tip is that if I want to move the blue square to the exact middle of the purple square, I can select both of these shapes, go down to Horizontal Align Center and then Vertical Align Center. This will put the blue square in the exact middle of the purple square. Now let's move on to some more advanced aligning. So the second way of aligning is Align to Key Object. An Align to Key Object basically means that we choose a key object to be the object that we don't want to move. This means that the other objects will move relative to the key object. Now let me demonstrate. Here I have some objects and these squares right here will symbolize an illustration that we don't want to move. So let's say I want this ball to be perfectly aligned to this square right here. So if we do as before and select both shapes, then go down to Horizontal Align Center. As you see, now the square will also be moving. So let's undo this. Instead we want to select the blue square as a key object so only the ball will move. So this isn't really as complicated as it sounds. The only thing you need to do is simply just click one more time at the object you want to select as your key object. In my case, the blue square. And you simply just click with the mouse button without holding down the shift key. Now you will get this white blue selection around the key objects. This means that this object is now locked and only the ball will move when we click align. So now I can simply go down to horizontal align center and the square will stay where it should and only the ball was moving. So now what if we want the ball to align to the middle of two squares without relying on the guidelines that we can't always trust. So if we just select all the shapes and we want to select the key object, as you see, we can't select both the squares as a key object. So what we want to do instead is select both the squares, right click the squares and click group. Now these two shapes are grouped. Then we can select both the shapes and the ball and now click the group as a key object. Now we can align the ball to the center of the two squares. The last way of aligning is Align to Artboard. This is very simple and does what it says. This is used if you want an object to be aligned relative to the artboard instead of other objects. So now you can simply just select the shape that you want to align to the artboard, go down to Align to and select Align to Artboard. Now when you choose an align mode, it will be relative to the artboard. So the left side of the artboard or the middle of the artboard. And by clicking Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center, you'll put the shape in the exact middle of the artboard. 